I've used Stantv uh, uh, library a lot. Uh, this is a written in Rust with a nice Python binding. So I have used it in ArchAI where we do use it for building a lexical search. Uh, we have added a code to tokenizer on the top, but overall um, this works pretty nice. But it can be used for implement any full text search. Uh, for example, if you're building an LLM application and you want to implement search, this is very fast, like in microsecond. Uh, on their uh, uh, GitHub, you could see that uh, like it's much faster than you see in another. Uh, so what I'll do here is to give a, a demo uh, on how it could be used. Uh, and I have also open sourced uh, this implementation of code search written uh, with Tantive. I have sort of uh, made it a lot more simpler, removed the tokenizer and other, uh, but uh, those things can be easily added and you could uh, use it uh, for your application. I have also packaged it as a PyPy package and uh, uploaded it. So you can just do pip install code search and it will be installed in your uh, repository uh, in your Python environment, and then you could just use it uh, with code search, uh, DAS index, and path to your repo, uh, and then code search uh, this. So let me uh, show you a demo that how of this uh, this works. Uh, so uh, I will not do the Py Python package installation. I will just uh, run uh, uh, in my local folder. So this is the fi file where it has been written, and I have passed it my pretty large library. Uh, it has like 200 plus files, and I have asked it to uh, index. Uh, so let's see how much time it takes. Um, so it has indexed like 281 files, uh, pretty fast, uh, if you could see. And then I will search uh, something here like autofix, which is used. Uh, so it takes like microsecond to give, and it will give you the score, uh, the file, uh, and then uh, I have asked it to only give the first 50 characters. Uh, uh, so it uh, gives uh, me that. Uh, now this, uh, you could directly use the code uh, or use uh, the package here. So let me uh, walk you through the code structure. Um, so the main file here is the code search, uh, sorry, Tantivy indexer. The code search demo is just, uh, I wrote in order to demo you how it works, uh, but the main file is a tentative indexer that we'll spend some time on, uh, and then I can uh, I'll uh, just talk through that how you can use it uh, in different uh, context. So let me open uh, this uh, file uh, code base in my terminal and get it here. This is a different one. Okay, so the main uh, file here is. Uh, Tantivy indexer that I want you. So the main file here is Tantivy indexer. So let me walk you through that. Uh, so the first aspect uh, in Tantivy uh, is, of course, you will import the Tantivy module. Uh, and then uh, what you have to do is to build the index. Now, this is uh, interesting that uh, tan, uh, like first you do uh, import this schema builder. And within the schema builder, you add certain field. So the first field I have is our text field, which is the file path, which is part of the file. The second is the content. And uh, what I'm doing is a stored equal to true is that within the index, it will also store the content. If you make stored equal to false, it will still index that content, like uh, in the case of uh, here, content of the file, but it will not uh, store the content or of the file. So um, that might lead to some latency when it is fetching the data because you have to implement that logic to fetch the content at the runtime of the search. But uh, because it's a text file, so I have just made it stored equal to true. Uh, then I'm also storing metadata for each of the file that's indexing. And then I put something here, which is a doc ID. And if you see here, I make it indexed equal to true and fast equal to true. So this is one of the limitation of the Tantivy that if you have to delete a particular index and if you have to make it incremental indexing uh, where you want to delete and add. Uh, so in that case, the field that you will use to delete has to be written in a way that indexed equal to true. Uh, and it can only be an integer field. So that's what I have done here. Uh, and what I will do uh, in this case is first I will uh, uh, let me walk through that what initialization here is. So you have to give time to be uh, the index path where it will create the index, uh, lexical index here. And I have also put uh, this concept of lock here because uh, one of the thing is that multiple writer cannot fetch uh, uh, the same index. So you have to maintain some sort of lock. Uh, generally, you don't have to worry about it. In my case, uh, it was a multi-tenant application, so I did had to implement it. Uh, so what I'm doing is every time uh, it's getting the writer, I am seeing that whether it's uh, logged and pointing to none and then only getting the writer instance. Uh, adding the anything to uh, the Tantivy index is pretty simple. You define the Tantivy document where you pass the different fields that you would define the schema, and then you just add document and you commit to it. You can do multiple commit at once so that uh, it's more, uh, which I have done here in the batch index, um, so that it becomes more efficient, but uh, depends on you totally. Uh, I have created doc ID, which is a hash of the file because I wanted an integer, um, so that makes it easy. Uh, and then if you look at the delete, so then I'm using the hash of the file path that is created to delete it. Now there could be some collision, but uh, generally the file uh, number of files per index should not be that large, so there is less chance. And once you have to search, make sure that you do a reload every time um, you have to search. So you do index.reload, then you pass the query, uh, and then you get, get the response in this form and uh, just present it to the uh, outside, to the front end. 
so that's what uh, is how the tentative indexer is written. Uh, what I have done here is that I have also written a demo dot uh, file, which what it does it just uh, takes a directory and just walks through that directory, indexes every file, and then based on the command line it uh, does the search. Uh, so that's what I demoed you. Uh, let me know if you have any question. Uh, this whole uh, code base is open source, so uh, take a look at it. Let me know if you have any question. Thank you so much.